Hello everyone, welcome to our channel. Today we are going to walk through the process of setup in Git node environment and creating an Ethereum account. So let's get started. It is an official Go Ethereum documentation page where all process is given. So firstly, we need to set up a Git environment. Git is an command line interface for running the full Ethereum node implemented in go by installing running git you can take a part in ethereum network as well as you can set up our own network mine ether transfer fund between two addresses create a smart contract and send transaction you can also explore the history of the transaction from the gate so let's get started in order to install git on our local system we we want the go installed on our system so we need specific version of go installed on our system so from here from official page you can download go go version we want 1.20 go version so installing specific version is also prepared always prepared You can uh, use the um, stable version or above 1.20 version. Let's download it. Let's continue all the process and install. Go is getting installed. It will take almost uh, one time. It's almost one minute. Now coming to the documentation, we want to see. Here you can see uh, we have successfully installed Go 1.20 version on our system. Close. In order to check Go version, you can directly open the command line. Just enter Go version. Just now we have installed this version 1.20.10. Let's install Git on our system. So, in our official document, here they have provided all the instructions to install Git. You are installing Git on our Mac OS system. You can also install it on our Ubuntu. Also, we can install it on our Windows. All instructions are given on the given in the uh, official documentation we are using on we are installing it on mac i am using mac so using blue package manager we are installing the gate ethereum just copy and paste that command in terminal blue install gate here you can see we have successfully installed git on our local system in order to check the whether git is successfully installed or not just type command git dash which using this command you can see the all the flags used by git to set up and network and node we are going to study about those flags in our next video for this video we are creating setup in the environment and creating an ethereum app so we have successfully installed gate now coming forward let's create an ethereum account so for creating ethereum i have already created an empty folder on desktop just redirect to that folder the desktop For simplicity, we can direct 
see we can also use the vs code or see the changes in runtime here you can see we have use the empty folder of account where you can we are going to generate our uh, history file is our uh, account credentials let's use vs code you can see here that account folder is empty let's create an ethereum account for creating an ethereum account we are using the get command get account so command is get data directory this is an data directory flag where we are going to create our history file just copy the path data directory account new just enter your password whatever you want just don't share this password with anyone here you can see we have successfully created an ethereum account this is valid ethereum account address this is a key store file which contains all the details of that account private key and public key here you can see the public key of that particular account that particular account that's all also we can we can't directly use this utc file in uh, uh, while in our web3 so we we want either private key or we can directly use it we using windows or ethereum metamask so in order to add a uh, account in metamask we can directly use this key store file import uh, we can directly import this key store file in metamask as well as we can uh, fetch the private key from this key store file and directly use it for web3 transaction or ethereum uh, for metamask so let's uh, fetch the private key we need to decrypt this uh, utc file using python so i have written an uh, uh, python script for decryption purpose decrypt dec uh, decrypt the utc file and uh, paste the private key from it just copy the path of that uh, utc file just paste it here enter your password don't show it anyone my password my password is 12128 just just run the python file python key file here you can see this address is your private key you can directly import it in your metamask account or you can directly use it for your web3 transaction using javascript or whatever language it may be so that's all for this video Thank you for watching this video in our next video we are going to go through the all facts i will show it once what is the use of these flags while setting the network i am going to discuss it all about in next video what is the use of a single specific uh, flag in this uh, gate so follow for uh, next studio subscribe our channel subscribe this series that's all for today thank you guys